Yeah, they've changed. They change every day for the worse. Just today, um, it made eight uh, since another of my bodyguard was abducted and seven other people. So every day it gets worse and worse. But we get stronger every day. Stronger in spirit or also in support? How, how, how can you tell about the support? In every way, every day we realize that our only option is to get strong. You know, so we get stronger because we get more desperate. We see less to lose, but more to gain every day. Yeah, Christopher, we, we can see under what conditions you've been filming this. And I just couldn't stop wondering how on earth could you actually, you know, yeah, shoot this film? Making a film is a massively collaborative, as you know, I'm sure here. It's a massively collaborative occupation, and there were many, many people. You know, the directors often end up. Vino Viadala. My co-director company here. He is Moses. Vino Viadala. In America, he's actually seeking asylum because he's Uganda, and after this film, there's no way he can go back to Uganda. But so many people put themselves out to make this film, and the footage came from many, many different, extremely brave people. Unfortunately, in Uganda, journalists and cameramen uh, get no special treatment. There's, there's not such a thing as if someone's seen as a press or a journalist, they're protected. Many, many people filming got injured. Moses actually got shot in the face at one point, and there's many, many cameramen, some of whose footage we used, who were on the campaign trail in the thick of it with Bobby and the team who suffered really, really terrible things. So this film is, is really a tribute to all of those people and all of the Ugandans. And there's lots of people we couldn't credit in the film because it would be, they're still in Uganda and the unsafe film. So it's a massively collaborative effort. Did you come to a point that you considered you had to stop filming because of you were putting people at risk? Yeah, I mean, very, very much so, but it's almost felt like... I, I grew up in I was born in Uganda and I had a special love for the country. And it just felt like we couldn't stop, we would be letting people down. And whatever we went through as whatever the filmmaking team went through was nothing compared to what people in Uganda <laughs> and the <laughs> and the <laughs> team have gone through. This people, in Uganda, just by having the slightest association, it might be a sticker on your motorbike, it might be wearing a red t-shirt, any association with Bobby and his team puts you at massive risk. So people are daily sacrificing. So as filmmakers, we certainly didn't feel that we could not carry on filming. We had to carry on filming because we were taking far less risks by a long way than Bobby and all of the Gandans who really <laughs> took <took us out. laughs> Movie, yeah, we did that. This is a speech. Bobby and the kids, are they still coping or how did they cope? Uh, Bobby and the kids have been an amazing pillar of support to me. They continue to be. They were premier. You know, they can stand as far as uh, I am if I'm far. There's so much about Bobby that is not in the movie. Just like there's so much brutality that was kept out. In fact, at one point I was asking Chris, why did you decide to make this film so clean? Because we thought that it was an opportunity to show the world how brutal it can be. But he guided that if you, if you show too much violence, you know, it might even disgust people and doesn't get the, the viewership that we hope to get. So this is not even 
a fraction of the violence that happens there. But Papi has been the source of uh, support for me and the children. They are still there. They are used to it. Uh -huh. Not that they, it does not affect them, but you know, it's the reality they know. Uganda baganyo kujoku wakila 